my name is Lindsay Rasmussen. I work here at Brewer Science in the Quality Control Department as a supervisor. I'm here to talk to you today about jobs in the chemistry field. Looking at science and engineering as a whole, they compose about 30% of all the degrees that are given in bachelor, across bachelor's, master's, and PhD fields. So it's a very wide area for opportunity in order to uh, get a job, in order to get an education, and be able to actually have a full career. And chemistry is one of those fields. So if we look at bachelor's degrees from 2016, as you can see, there is a very wide portion of it is related to the science and engineering fields. For the part that I'm in, chemistry, it's actually in that very small piece of the pie in the 3% that is in the physical sciences. But even then, even if you're at the end of this presentation, you're not interested in chemistry by itself, there is a lot of opportunity in the science and engineering fields as a whole, and I very much encourage you to take a look at all of those. I've talked about how it's a wide field and lots of opportunities in science. This kind of breaks down a little bit of all the different areas that there are. There's engineering, you've got the general sciences, and then you've also got another whole field as basically applied science is the medical field. So then if I break down into chemistry, you've got, even though chemistry like by itself, you're like, okay, I know what that is. There's actually a lot of variation in the chemistry field itself. You've got analytical chemistry, which is what I do. Basically, we are analyzing chemicals. We are taking chemicals, running them through an instrument, and telling you the results about a certain property of the chemical, whether it's like, okay, do you think you have methanol? Oh, yes, okay, you definitely have methanol. Or maybe you're like, hey, something weird's going on, what's happening? And then we'll look into it and see what's going on. Uh, you've also got um, biological chemistry. Think about, um, for biochemists, think about um, the COVID vaccine. You had a lot of biochemists working together in order to develop the vaccine. You've got organic chemists. That would be what I would consider the more classical chemists. They're the ones who really are mixing chemicals and they make explosions or they might be make, turning them into new chemicals. Inorganic chemists are the ones who are making solid state materials. They're the ones who are developing batteries for the all the new types of battery technology we're gonna need for when we have electric cars in 10 to 20 years. Polymer chemists. That's what we have a lot of here at Brewer Science. What our chemicals are, are polymer solutions. And so we are working with people who have a wide range of knowledge in this area of chemistry in order to develop our products. There's a lot of different opportunities. So it's not just the different types of sciences, but all the different types of jobs, even in chemistry that you can have. If you like chemistry, but you also like the legal field, you've got patent uh, people who can do uh, write patents for all the different chemicals that are developed you can be a teacher you can be a dentist i have a friend who has a degree in chemistry and she does art conservation there's a lot of opportunities in chemistry and there's a lot of different career fields it's not just sitting in a lab there's a lot of different ways to apply that type of degree in this field so talking a little bit more about what i do specifically I am in the quality control department. So what we do is we test products before they are sold. So we go through and do all the final testing to make sure that the products they receive are actually gonna work and work well for their needs. We test over a thousand, probably over a thousand tests a day in our department. We're running, uh, basically we have to evaluate different characteristics of all our products. Some products only need 10, some products need like 100. And so that is something where we are going through doing all those testing. If something fails, we've got to do all the retesting. If there's a problem with our instrument, because instruments break down. So there's a lot of troubleshooting. There's uh, as well as a lot of fast paced testing. Fun fact about Brewer Science, our founder is a chemist. The other types of chemists we have here is research and development. They are the chemists who are coming up with the products of the future. They're the things where our customers say, hey, we're gonna need something in the next few years that can do this. No one's invented it yet. Can you take care of it? And our scientists get together and go, okay, let's see what we can do. And they help develop those products. So one thing I want to say to you is if you're interested in any type of career, just start learning. I had no idea that I was gonna be in chemist. I was kind of like, eh, maybe forensics, but also maybe history, but also maybe drama. I took, my first year was, I was in engineering and then said, you know what? I think I'm gonna stick with chemistry. I didn't actually find the class that I liked, instrumental analysis until the spring semester of my senior year of college. So I had to go through trying all those different versions to find the one that I enjoyed. Now I've got my career in analytical chemistry. I absolutely love it, and, but I had to find my little niche in the science and technology world that worked for me, and that is what I enjoyed. Um, in the process, I had the opportunity to work at a crime lab as an internship in college. A lot of fun, not what I did long-term, but it let me know, hey, this is cool, but not maybe what I wanna do. 
And so I had a good experience and then moved on and found the one that worked for me. So I just encourage you, if you think you are interested in something, just go for it. Try it out. If you don't like it, that's fine. That's why you try it out. And then keep moving forward and keep continuing to find what you enjoy. Thank you everyone for listening to this presentation. I hope you learned a little bit more about what careers there are available in the fields of science and more specifically in the fields of chemistry. Thank you.